What's up, I'm Channel Pup, the mascot for the level-headed fanboy. And today, we are going to be ranking all of the Miles Morales Spider-Man costumes in Marvel Spider-Man 2. And yes, I have decided to split these videos in two as opposed to doing just one ranking for both Miles and Peter's suits. Because it's unfair to compare a Miles suit to a Peter suit. The whole point is that he's making it his own, and if I have a preference for a Peter or a Miles design, I just don't feel like it's a fair comparison. They are different characters. Also, a warning ahead of time, this video will contain spoilers for Marvel Spider-Man 2. So if you don't want to be spoiled as to which suits appear or the context of which those suits are appearing, then come back after you've played the game. More things to note, this is just my silly personal opinion. If you don't personally agree with it, that's fine. Just don't be a dick about it. If my opinions utterly enrage you, use that as motivation to make your own ranking video. It is a far more productive and potentially lucrative thing to do than ragging on me for what I think. Then finally, a lot of disclaimers in this one. It's not necessarily going to be based on how much I like the suit. You'll find some of my absolute favorite Spidey designs are actually more around the middle to lower part of this list. And that's because, yeah, I'm not ranking this solely based on how much I like it, but how willing I am to play this game in this suit, how well it fits this version of the character, how well it fits the game's overall aesthetic, etc, etc. So this might contradict other lists, like, you know, the film suits ranking, but there's just a lot of factors to when you can just pick any suit to have in a video game that has its own style and its own story. Alright then, without further ado, let's get to our bottom pick at number 34. We have the Strike Suit. This very Ghost Rider-y sort of 90s biker-inspired costume. I really don't care for this. I don't really like sort of yellow on the Miles Morales costume. I don't think it fits. Unless you're like going for like a completely separate color scheme altogether. But I also really don't like the thick, leathery look. I don't like how rubbery this thing looks, all the armor plating, all those very chunky gauntlets. I know that this is going to appeal to some people. I, I know that there's going to be lots of people that love this design. Because of how out there it is and this style, you know, it might just be one that bodes with you. But for me, this one just isn't it. It, it doesn't look like a Spider-Man costume. It looks like something out of a creepypasta. In at number 33 is the Life Story Suit, which looks like if they made a Quantum Realm outfit for Spider-Man. Like, this thing is like 1960s lost in space sci-fi stuff. And it's an aesthetic I can certainly appreciate, but not for Spider-Man. And it's just bizarre because the lower half of it looks like a Spider-Man suit, the upper half of it looks like a boiler suit, and then you've got this weird space helmet on top. This combo just doesn't work in my opinion. If I wanted cheap, 1960s lost in space Spidey, I'd watch Revolt in the Fifth Dimension, not play an Insomniac Spider-Man game. In at number 32 is the Evolved suit. Wait, what do you mean this is canon? What do you mean he's probably gonna be wearing this in the next game? What do you mean? What is this? I tell you what, Insomniac got some cojones replacing the classic Miles Morales suit with whatever this is right here. I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at here. Right, okay, so the biggest sin this suit commits for me is if you just, if you ignore the head and just look at the body, it looks more like a Peter Parker suit. It looks like a Peter Parker Spider-Man costume with blue stuff on it. The fact that this torso part is predominantly red as opposed to just being red accents on an otherwise black suit. And we don't have that sort of Puerto Rican flag inspiration with the sort of the triangle going down the chest either. If this were a Peter Parker suit, there's a lot that I could look past here. And I, I might even say it's quite a funky design. But as a Miles suit? Really? And he refers to it as a Miles Morales original as though his previous suits were not Miles Morales originals. When they were more Miles Morales originals than this. God, the fact that his hair's exposed at the top is- I, I can't. This is- this ain't it, you know? <laughs> What this is, is an Adidas product placement. And before someone corrects me saying it's Adidas, where I'm from, it's pronounced Adidas. So yeah, deal with it. I can't believe it. Insomniac, what were you cooking with this? Th this isn't, this is not the suit to be taking into the next game. I'm really hoping he's going to be back in his classic suit in the next one. In at number 31 is the programmable matter suit. And I'm still not fond of this one. Wasn't fond of it in Spider-Man Miles Morales, and I'm not fond of it here. It's a Spider-Man suit made of mirrors, effectively. And um, I, I don't hate it. I'm gonna say it right now, I don't hate this suit. I think it's kind of a interesting, very 
Tron aesthetic. And I, I'm noticing there's a very Tron look about a lot of Insomniac's sort of original designs for Spider-Man. It just, it, it's not one that I see as like, that's a Spider-Man suit, you know? Like, in universe, I don't buy that Spider-Man would be running around in this. It doesn't look very tangible. It's very neo-sci-fi. It ain't for me. I'm just gonna say right now, it's not for me. I can understand why some people might really like this. Not me. In at number 30 is the Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. suit, and what I can safely say is that it's clean. It looks clean to look at, I can appreciate that, you know, very basic, and uh, the color combination, very fantastic for. Of course, you can change the color combination if you want one that is more quintessentially spidey to a red and black one, but um, yeah, as it stands right now, I, I don't really have much to say about this other than, like, it's clean, you know? It's got a holster in the side. What's that for? Is that for a gun? I, I haven't read whatever comic this appeared in, so forgive me for that. I will happily turn in my nerd card. But yeah, th this one is okay, you know? It it's just fine. It it's not one that I'd ever necessarily play in, because it, it just it it's not really a Spider-Man costume as such. It's a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent outfit, and I, I don't see why Miles would even be wearing this in the story of this game. Yeah, I got nothing. I got, I got nothing on this one. It's just, it's whatever. In at number 29 is Shadow Spider. Now, yeah, I pre-ordered this, so this was one of the pre-order unlocks, and uh, I have never once equipped it because I just don't care for it. It's an assassin-style suit, and Spider-Man's not an assassin. Look at it from the back. It's got a very Batman-y look to it. it this looks kind of like what I'd expect jason todd to be running around in you know um and it's fine for what it is like it, it works just fine it's another one where it doesn't really fit the aesthetic of this game in the slightest and uh it's not really for me but uh i can appreciate what it's going for like i, I like the color scheme we've got on this i like the texture going down the front and I, I like what they've done with the cape as well giving it that sort of webbed look which uh it's very, you know, in tune with Spider-Man, but uh, other than that, I just, I, I don't really care for this one. This one does nothing for me. Jesus Christ, are those throwing knives in his belt? In at number 28 is the End Suit, which I really do think is quite a cool design for like a sort of a last hurrah for the Miles Morales Spider-Man. And uh, yeah, it, it looks cool with the digital camo. I like his jacket. I like still that there's very much a classic Miles Morales Spider-Man suit under there, though. I also like his little sort of tactical combat boots as well. It's a very militant look for Spidey, and it's not something I really gravitate towards, but I can appreciate this just fine. It's a cool look. It looks like, you know, Spider-Man is at the end of his thread, it's the end of the road, and he's not messing around no more. Also a cool little feature is that you can kind of get like an Alex Ross look if you use one of the different color combinations, so that's something I can appreciate. In at number 27 is the City Sound Suit. This is the suit you get after salvaging the music exhibit at the museum. And it gives Spidey a very 1950s jazz-inspired look, which I can really appreciate. It's not something I'm gonna wear while I'm swinging around, put it that way, but I do think it's a fun design. There is absolutely no way in hell that Trilby hat would stay on while web swinging, unless it was just like glued on there. But yeah, it's a cool, classy, brassy design. I can appreciate it. In at number 26 is the family business suit. And uh, I, I don't know what this is from or what this is referencing, but I think it's a fairly clean design overall. Again, very sort of Tron looking, you know, with like the piping that lights up. And I'm guessing that's like, you know, his um, bioelectricity sort of pulsing around the suit, which yeah, I think that's kind of cool. I like the shape of the eyes. But when I look at this, the main thing I think of is the anti oc armor that Peter wears at the end of the PS4 Spider-Man game. And uh, it's not a design that I ever dislike, but it's not a design that I necessarily gravitate towards either. So, yeah, that kind of carries over to this. I think it's just A-OK. -okay. I think it's one of those instances where gold on the Spider-Man suit does look pretty good. Um, especially as I've taken, like, the red and the other colors out. This is just a black and gold suit, unless you change your color. But it, it just, it looks fine as far as I'm concerned. It's very futuristic sort of Tron look, so it's not up my alley, but I can see why someone might enjoy this. Uh, if anything, I would rather have the Uptown Pride black and gold suit that we got in Spider-Man Miles Morales, but this is fine too. In at number 25 is the Advanced Tech Suit, which was sort of like a last minute addition to Spider-Man Miles Morales in a patch, and uh, it's made it here too. And um, I, I haven't really talked about this suit before actually, so this is kind of my first time talking about it. I, I think it's okay, you know? It's like an improvement on the uh, Programmable Matter suit as far as I'm concerned, where it's a, a very metal looking suit 
Um, but this time you've got much more of a quintessentially Miles Morales-y look to it with the red webs. And uh, it's got the more conventional Spidey look to it. I, I like how they've done the spider on the chest. I think that looks really cool and it's sort of very triangular fragmented form. The one thing I'm not fond of about this is how it kind of looks like he's wearing a corset. Like, it's a very sleek design up until you get to, like, the waist. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not big on that, personally. But, uh, everything else here, it's, it's, it's another Metal Spider-Man suit. And I'm not into Metal Spider-Man suits. It's fine. It, it, it's just fine, you know? You're gonna be hearing that quite a lot about this middle section of the ranking. <laughs> In at number 24 is the Crimson Cowl suit. This is returning from Spider-Man Miles Morales, and uh, I feel the same about it here as I did then. I just think it's mid. <laughs> I think it's okay, you know? I think it is a design that definitely benefits from having a bit more black on it, having black be the predominant color rather than red. And fortunately, yeah, when you open up the styles menu, you can have that, and it looks a lot better. I'm just, I'm still not sure how I feel about how big the shoulder pads on this one look. Um, it's okay. It just, it, it cuts out a very sort of a, a Bruce Tim DCAU shape for Miles, which just is a little hard for me to take seriously in a live action context. Also, I just, I don't care for hoods on Spider-Man suits. There are exceptions to that rule, but I don't care for hoods on the Spider-Man costume, and I sure as hell don't care for it here, especially with how assassiny it looks. I don't need Spider-Man to look like an assassin because he just isn't one. In at number 23 is the Great Responsibility suit, and th this is always going to hold a special place in my heart, because this suit did appear in the original sort of Ultimate Comics all-new Spider-Man run as, like, a little Halloween costume that Miles bought to kind of represent Spider-Man, and that panel of him just buying that suit is the thing that got me into Spider-Man cosplay for a brief period, back when I was just a little spring chicken. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this suit is always going to mean quite a bit to me just because of that. And what, what we have here is much more of a techie sort of adaptation. It's a bit more form-fitting and everything, but it resembles that. Like in-universe, yeah, it's a more techie thing that Peter Parker has made for him, but it still resembles that Halloween costume that Miles bought all the way back at the beginning of his tenure, at his very first run of comic books, you know? So I'm always gonna have a soft spot for this suit. As it is, I, I don't think it's necessary in this game, you know? Like, it's it's the Spider-Man costume you'd wear when you wanted to kind of pretend to be Peter Parker in Spider-Man Miles Morales. Not that you really would, but like it had much more of a plot purpose there than it does here. Here it's more just a case of like, hey, I want him to look like Peter, make the Spideys look the same. This is the suit I would put on. But but there are certainly things I like about it. I like like the uh, the knee pads and the elbow pads. I, I like the gloves having the seams on them and same goes for the mask. And for a while, this was the closest thing we had to an amazing Spider-Man 2 suit in a Insomniac Spider-Man game, just because of the shape of the lenses. I'm always going to appreciate the Great Responsibility suit, but I, I don't think it was really needed for this one. In at number 22 is the Sportswear suit. And I remember back when I ranked the Miles Morales game suits, I kind of ranked this one fairly low because I didn't quite understand what they were actually going for in-universe, what this suit was, because... He hasn't made his own suit yet, and Peter hasn't made him his own bespoke suit yet either. But then what is this suit he's wearing under the sportswear? Like, uh, he's clearly got a black Spider-Man costume on under his little, um, his little trunks, I guess, is what he's wearing here. And also, like, that puffy jacket just isn't going to be aerodynamic in the slightest. But what has bolstered this up quite a bit is, A, we don't really have a plot purpose for it this time, so I don't really need to worry about, like, this is the how and why of this suit, but also if you go into the color combinations, you can actually change it to have a color combination that matches the what's up danger scene from Into the Spider-Verse. And while I would definitely prefer that suit, this is a means to an end, you know? It's a way of having that sort of design in here. And if anything, I appreciate that more because it means that it is in the realistic style of the Insomniac Spider-Man universe, rather than being sort of plucked straight out of the Into the Spider-Verse movie. So it, it means I can play in this suit in a way that feels a bit more, um, I don't know, tangible is the word I'm looking for? But yeah, it, it's a case where, yeah, just having that other color scheme in here has definitely helped this one. In at number 21 is the most dangerous game suit. Which I think is the only suit in this game that has an exact match equivalent for Peter Parker as well, but 
I think it's actually really neat that they gave us villain themed suits in this game as well as just different Spidey suits from the history of the character. And this, yeah, is basically how Spider-Man would look if he were kind of trying to ape that Kraven the Hunter style, complete with the sort of the animal skin around the neck and around the gloves. It, you know, it gives a kind of a tactical look that he's trying to keep warm as well, you know. And the color scheme works really well too, but I, I just love the novelty of villain-inspired costumes for Spider-Man in these games. It doesn't make any sense in-universe, but it's a lot of fun to just have, you know? In at number 20 is the King in Black suit, which is clearly taking kind of a lot of inspiration from the 2018 Venom series with the, the swirly on the top of the head, you know, that sort of that Clintar symbol. And then you've got the more dragon-esque sort of spider symbol on the chest. Um, I, I think this design is cool. I like sort of the, uh, the fighting tape that he's got around his wrists and uh, the kind of the bone armor that he's got on his shoulders. I would probably prefer the suit without those though, you know? I, I think it's a cool design, but I, I just, if I want like a symbiote Miles look, this isn't necessarily going to be my go-to of the bunch that we have here, simply because of things like the bone shoulder armor and the uh, the fighting tape. But I still think it's a really cool design. It, it, it's a cool design for that sort of mythical 2018 era symbiote lore as well, so yeah, I, I, I enjoy this one. But I prefer what we have at number 19 with the Absolute Carnage suit, which is funny because I just mentioned that I'm not really fond of yellow on the Miles Morales suit because it makes it look very creepy pasta y. But to be fair, this is an Absolute Carnage inspired suit. This is a symbiote Miles, so it, it should probably look a little spooky looking, you know? <laughs> He's got eyelashes. That's kind of funny. I just noticed that. But, um,. Yeah, this one looks nasty. <laughs> this one looks mean, you know, and that's what I appreciate about it. But it's also still got that very sort of Miles morales -y look to it, where you've got the red accents on the black. And I love how the spider looks so organic, so much like it's made of the Carnage symbiote. Yeah, this is just a- this, this goes hard. This- this goes really, really hard. But of the three symbiote-inspired suits that we've got for Miles, I have to say my favorite of the three is the one that comes in at number 18, the Dark Ages suit. Just because this one has the symbiote aesthetic, that it does, <laughs> this is undeniably a symbiote suit, but I think making a hood that looks like a Venus flytrap was actually really, really inspired. And it makes this sort of very evil Dracula-y collar for him. But my favorite thing about this is how clean the design looks. I like the shape of the eyes, and I like that they're white this time rather than yellow. I like the spider on it. I like that we don't have any webs here. This is just a very... Th this is how I think symbiote Miles Morales would look. And yeah, I, I like this design the best out of the three symbiote looks that we've got here. But none of them are bad. You know, I, I think all of these symbiote looks are kind of cool. And they all fit very firmly into that Eldritch Abomination tier of symbiote Spidey design that we very much have in this game. So yeah, I appreciate that. In at number 17 is the Into the Spider-Verse SB suit. So this was the Halloween costume that Miles bought from Stan Lee in um, the Into the Spider-Verse movie. And uh, I really do like this design, and I love that they've included the cape. I love things like the shaders that they've got on this, and uh, how he moves at 12 frames per second, so it, it firmly mimics that Into the Spider-Verse look. At the same time, I wish we could have had maybe like a styles menu for this suit that would allow us to play a realistic version of this suit design so that he doesn't look so out of place in the rest of the game. But then we kind of come to why this is kind of the bottom of the Spider-Verse inspired looks in this game is that this is the least accurate because I guess they didn't have the model for Miles Morales' face from the Spider-Verse movies. So they have just whited out the eyes altogether, and it looks kind of creepy. But also, um, yeah, it means it's inaccurate. It's, I like that there's kind of a mesh under there. Like, so most of the white part of the eyes is just the fabric that's on the suit, and then the holes have like a white mesh underneath. That was an inspired choice, but it, it doesn't change the fact that, yes, this is less accurate. And I think this was done for cutscene compatibility's sake, being that, you know, you'd have to animate a whole new set of emotions for uh, an actual face under there. It would be like the equivalent to playing as Miles unmasked effectively. The eyes are programmed very differently to emote to what a full face would be. So I, I get why they've done this, but it, it doesn't change the fact that yes, it is the least accurate of the Spider-Verse suits. So 
Yeah, that's why it falls in where it does. Then at number 16 is the Brooklyn 2099 suit, which is really interesting because we already have a 2099 inspired suit for Miles in these games. But uh, we have this too, which is again a very militant, very sort of boiler suity looking, especially in the lower half, but then armored Tron looking Spider-Man suit with a very neon look to the spider and the eyes. And if you're into that sort of future punk Tron-y neon aesthetic, then good news, this is for you, but I'm not. But I will say this, of the very Tron future punk Spider-Man suits that are in this game, this is one of the better looking ones. So that's something, right? I don't hate this. I think this is okay. But it's certainly not one I gravitate towards either. I like the simplicity of the design. I just wish that were applied to a less armored suit, I guess. In at number 15 is, uh, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing this correctly, the Boracua suit. I'm just going to call it the Puerto Rican suit. Um, and I really made a major flub in one of my recent videos saying it was a Captain America inspired costume. But that does open the question, why does Captain America's costume look so much like the Puerto Rican flag? Um, but I, I guess I'm not the only one to make flubs like this because in Miles' apartment they've actually accidentally mistaken the Puerto Rican flag for the Cuban flag. Um, so he's got a Cuban flag in his apartment rather than the Puerto Rican one. So I guess rookie mistake. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this is the suit that he gets from the students at the Visions Academy after helping out with the school missions. And uh, how do they know he's Puerto Rican? But <laughs> I will say this, it is a nice suit that honors Miles Morales' Puerto Rican heritage. And, uh, I mean, I, I thought it was quite cool how they folded that into Miles' classic design originally. This one takes it just a little bit further, and it's a nice design that wears its culture on its sleeve. Uh, it's not one that I gravitate towards much, because I do still prefer that classic sort of Miles Morales look to this. But, um, yeah, I, I think this is a nice design. It's nice and clean. It's not overly future punk or armored or anything like that. And it means a lot that we've got something that is made with kind of a, a love for Spider-Man from, like, New York City. Like what we had with the kind of the winter suit that we had in Spider-Man Miles Morales that Haley kind of, she put her hat and scarf and uh, snuggies on him. Uh, I think, you know, this is kind of the equivalent to that. I prefer the suit Haley gave him, and it's odd because you see that scarf draped over his evolved suit later in the game, so the fact it's not here is kind of weird to me, but still, I, I guess it's not winter anymore. But I, I still like this plenty. In at number 14 is the The Best There Is suit, and uh, I think this is really cool. I think it's just awesome that we're having suits in this game that are inspired by other heroes in the Marvel Universe, even though their existence in this universe makes absolutely no sense, because where the hell were they during all these major events? I guess they just had priorities elsewhere. But uh, I think it's really cute that we've got, like, a Wolverine suit for Miles ahead of the upcoming Wolverine video game from Insomniac. And I think the best thing about this is that you can go into the color settings for this one and you can choose to have the classic Wolverine colors or you can have a, a gray version or just anything like that. You've got all kinds of different color schemes that kind of honor Wolverine's history. This is really cool and I'm kind of hoping that maybe this is a suggestion for kind of how Wolverine's costume is going to look in the upcoming game. I don't doubt that we'll have, you know, interchangeable costumes like we have here. But this is just such a cool idea, you know? In at number 13 is the Into the Spider-Verse suit. And I'm always, always, always going to love this design. I adore this design right here. But it doesn't fit in with the aesthetic of the rest of the game. For one, you've got cartoon shaders on it. Two, you've got very cartoony anatomy. Miles would have to be a very thin boy. And three, unless I'm mistaken, I don't think you can switch off the 12 FPS mode on the Spider-Verse suits this time. And it is a shame because, yeah, there, there is no pretending. This is a cartoony suit in a realistic world. And while I can appreciate that, and I'd never ask them not to do that, Given that these suits do have different styles now that you can kind of toggle, I would so appreciate if we could have a realistic version of this in there, so that not only could I play in this amazing design, but I could also play it within the context of the rest of the game. But that being said, I'm glad it's still here. I love this design. But there is one that I like a little better now. Uh, it's one that had to grow on me, but it is the Across the Spider-Verse. Miles Morales suit, which takes the number 12 position. And yeah, th th everything that was kind of holding back 
the Into the Spider-Verse suit on this ranking is kind of here too. Like, it's it's a cartoony suit in a realistic world. That That's kind of the issue here, is it just doesn't fit in. And if they did have a realistic version of this design available, it would go straight to the top of the ranking, because I adore the Across the Spider-Verse Miles design. It is so clean, it's so simple, but it's also highly characterized with that kind of stenciled graffiti look. This is what a character redesign should be. But yeah, the only things holding it back from me are the fact that we don't have the option of changing it to a realistic version, which is why it's in the number 12 spot. In at number 11 is the Miles Morales 2020 suit. And uh, it, okay, it's future punk, obviously. It's, it's got a very cyberpunky look to it. It's uh, very Tron-esque, um, but I, I can't even complain this time because this design is still awesome. The very Daft Punk inspired helmet and how it's kind of a very digital kind of LED thing that makes the lenses express themselves. And we got the same for this like sort of plate that makes up the chest piece of the Spider-Man costume and this really sick jacket he's got on. This is, uh, this is a hell of a design. Like, it's one that Miles has very much made his own. I don't doubt that knowing, like, Miles' personality in this game, this is something that he absolutely would wear if he had the resources. We talked about the Evolved suit and how it's meant to be a quote-unquote Miles Morales original. This is more how I would expect a Miles Morales original to look. It's one that's grown on me over the years, and I just think it's a sincerely cool design. Now, before we go into the top 10, Here's Coach Brett for a quick wellness break. Yo, Coach Brett here interrupting the video for a little bit of movement. All right, guys, so we're going to do a little thing called the couch stretch. So if you've got tight hips, maybe some hip tension, maybe you're going up the stairs and it doesn't feel that great, you're going to want to do this. So what you want to do first is bring your foot around so that the top of your foot rests on whatever chair or couch that you have behind you. You're going to wrap your leg around so that your knee is up. You want to tilt your butt in like you're driving it through your legs and then Typically, this is where you'd want to stay. If you want a little bit more tension, you just drive your body forward a little bit more. Hope this helps. Hey there, Coach Brett here with True Capacity, your path to a healthier you. And at True Capacity, we've got programs tailored specifically for you. It's a body weight program that all you need is just your body weight, a little determination. We've got a minimal equipment program where you don't really need anything, just the essentials. And then we also have a full gym access program where really the only thing you need is a gym membership and you're good to go. So let's embark on this journey together and click the link down below for more details. Thanks guys, excited to see you in there. In at number 10 is the smoke and mirrors suit. Now again, it is awesome to have villain inspired Spider-Man costumes playable in this game. It's another thing entirely when it is my favorite comic book villain of all time, Mysterio. A Mysterio inspired costume for Miles, complete with his own little fishbowl. That's awesome. And they factored in all the kind of iconography of the Mysterio design here. All of the colors are present here. You've got the green and purple, you've got the gold accents. It looks very showy with the shoulder pads. And I like how they've made those Spider Man eyes into shapes in the fog of the fishbowl. That's really cool. Naturally, I am a little biased because Mysterio is my favorite villain, but still, villain inspired costumes for the Spider Man characters keep them coming. In at number 9 is another green and purple Spider-Man costume, and another villain-inspired costume, this time being the purple rain suit, which is obviously inspired by the Prowler. And I've always kind of loved that kind of what-if vibe that this suit comes with. What if Miles took a bit more after his Uncle Aaron instead of Spider-Man, you know? And we are kind of getting that in the upcoming Beyond the Spider-Verse movie where he full on becomes the Prowler. I still think this is just a really sick design and green, purple, and gray is a great color scheme for a Spider-Man costume. Who'd have thunk it? In at number eight is the homemade suit. And yeah, I still got a thing for homemade Spider-Man costumes. Like the idea of like these little hoodies and track suits that he's wearing his Tims. I, I think that's great. The idea that this is just something that Miles put together himself. It's still what I think Miles is sort of cobbled together suit should have been in the Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales video game, but still it's great to have this as an option anyways. And we got an even better looking version of it in this game in the Star Wars menu as well with the fully red and black version. Like, that's awesome, where black is the predominant color and it's got red accents and it just keeps it to those two colors. It looks great, in my opinion. And pairing this up, having Miles in this suit while Peter is wearing the homemade Spider-Man Homecoming suit, 
it's like a little else world where they just always stayed in these costumes and i kind of like that that kind of vibes with me in at number seven is the track suit and if they wanted to put miles in an insomniac original costume for the ending this would have made so much sense because it looks really good next to peter's advanced suit mark ii but no i don't know why they didn't do this um but yeah like it puts white on the suit basically like so it does have that very insomniac spidey look to it and you know i think this is a cool design you know I, I think this all works but if you don't like the white there is an option to just have it in red and black or red and blue have more of a peter inspired look for it which uh, seems a little sacrilege to me but i i mean hey i can i can see the appeal of having both spideys look a little more like each other but um yeah no i think it without the white actually it looks a little naked so um yeah i, I think the tracksuit as it is it's a really slick design it's really cool um and i think this would have been a much better choice for the evolved suit than the evolved suit i guess in at number six is the forever suit another suit inspired by another marvel superhero this time giving spidey a black panther suit and uh that's really cool because like a fusion of black panther and spider-man and I'm wondering if this was done just to kind of give him a, you know, Black Panther suit, or if it was done to pay tribute to Chadwick Boseman, um, which would also make a lot of sense. But um, it, if it is a tribute, this is a really nice way of doing it. I think my favorite version of this suit is the one with the gold accents on it, as opposed to the red ones. But I also like just the straight up black one too. Um, but either way... Yeah, again, Spider-Man costumes that are inspired by the suits of other Marvel superheroes, while it might not be something that I'm necessarily going to wear in the main story because Spidey is his own man as far as I'm concerned, I still think this is a really fun idea. Like, it's just a lot of fun to just swing around in these suits after the main game's over and just have fun being a fusion of Spider-Man and Black Panther, and it looks really great. I'll definitely take this over celebrities designing Spider-Man costumes, that's for sure. Seriously, what the hell are some of these? In at number five is the 10th anniversary suit for Spidey, which is probably the second most iconic suit that Miles Morales has ever worn as Spider-Man. Well, like what I mean by that is like, obviously like there's been plenty of very iconic Miles Morales suits, but they've all kind of adhered to that kind of classic Miles Morales look where this was a straight up redesign. This was a complete departure from that classic Miles look while still retaining a lot of kind of what makes a Miles suit a Miles suit. Or does it? I don't even know. <laughs> I guess it might be just because black is the main color and then it's got accents, but I mean like... <sighs> This looks like something that the character of Miles Morales would make. Does does that make any sense? I, I It's got that more sporty look. It's got that more sort of urban look to it than what, you know, Peter would generally wear. The thing I'm going to say is it doesn't make much sense that he would go from his classic suit, which is very much a devoted Spider-Man suit, to this, which is a more homemade looking outfit. I think the only thing I really don't care for about this design, now that I'm looking at it, is the legs. The legs look... It kind of has a fishnets look to it from the sides, you know? Like, that's not something I'm very big on. But, I, you know, I tell you what, I do like the departure going from red to more of a fluorescent pink. I think that's kind of cool. It's a really cool design, in my opinion. Just those legs. I, I wish maybe he had more, like, tracksuit bottoms or something with kind of, like, uh, that fluorescent pink lining going down the sides and then just ditch the webs. It feels like the webs are here out of obligation. Get rid of the webs. <laughs> then this would be a way cooler design. But also, like, if you, if you are, you know afraid of wearing pink you can go into the styles menu and you can switch to a red version and i mean you, you don't just have to be afraid of wearing pink it could also just be that you, you know you want him in his classic miles morales color scheme there's also a purple and blue teutonic one which i think is kind of cool um yeah no i just i think this is a cool sort of evolution i just don't understand why he would go from a very devoted advanced looking suit to this but it looks very cosplayable you know that's probably quite fun Hmm, maybe that's an idea to put in my back pocket for Halloween. Probably too late now. In at number four is the Bodega Cat suit. And uh, yeah, th this isn't about the suit, okay? This is not about the suit. This has never been about the suit. It's about who is in the backpack. <laughs> it is about the Spider-Man cat. But um, still, as far as a suit goes, it's kind of interesting. I still, I want to know what that suit looks like without the hoodie. I, I just think, I think I want more options, you know? Like, I would love it if we could just have the option to just stick the cat backpack 
on any other suit in this game and just play with the bodega cat you know that would be awesome i don't do, i don't know if we have the cat takedowns in this one either i haven't even tried i ought to try i ought to find out but um yeah no like the the suit design itself is fine it's the cat who i'm here for but we do have some options now. We can put him in different color hoodies. And you can even put the Spider-Man cat in a Miles Morales themed Spider-Man mask. Which I think is awesome. Like, that's great. So, yeah. Bodega Cat. He's a big fat W. Love him. In at number three is the Miles Morales 2099 suit. And uh, this came up very high on my ranking last time. And it's coming up high this time too. I don't know what it is about this suit. But it just vibes with me. It looks clean. It looks very tangible. It looks very future punky, but not too future punky, and I actually kind of vibe with the hood this time too. I just, I like this one a lot, you know, like this, I much prefer this to the Brooklyn 2099 suit, that's for sure. Um, I'm, I think this one's an Insomniac original, which is rare that I ever gravitate towards an Insomniac original design, but this just looks too cool in my opinion. I think I just really love the combination of the very dark blue, the light blue, the red and the white. I just think this design looks sick. I, I don't know what to say. The, if they wanted to have him in a suit with a hood on it for the Evolved suit, this, this would have been the one to go for. Of course, now that we've seen Spider-Man 2099 and Miles Morales interacting in uh, Across the Spider-Verse, I would be hard-pressed to believe that he'd be running around dressed like this because uh, Spider-Man 2099 is kind of an asshole. But, uh, you know, this... This is still just a cool looking suit in my opinion. Which brings us to our number two spot now. We're in the we're in the finals. And at number two, we have the upgraded suit, which is the main cannon suit for Miles in this game. And uh, I'm hard pressed to really complain. It looks a lot like the classic suit that he wore in Spider-Man Miles Morales, but there have been some new additions, some that I like and some that I'm not so fond of. One that I like is that the general color of this one is darker. That's something I can appreciate. It's a little less gray looking. Now, admittedly, this is lighting dependent. But when you look at it just in that menu screen, the upgraded suit does appear to be a darker color than the classic. That is one area where I guess I would call this an upgrade. Everything else, as far as I'm concerned, is actually a little bit of a downgrade, in my opinion. Um, I, I like the arm design a lot better on the old one, just because it is more that classic kind of look. I, I didn't need him to have, like, these red sleeves going on there. Again, it feels more like we're taking Miles in the direction of looking more like a Peter, you know, in a way. But, um, I think that works okay, but it's, it's very Nightwing, you know? That, that's how I kind of view that. Um, then they've kind of gone a little harder with the armaments and textures. So, like, the belt this time is a lot more complicated, as are, like, the knee pads... Um, and we've also got this sort of black mesh around the sides, which I'm not so fond of. It just looks a little less clean, in my opinion. Uh, it's not a bad suit by any means. Like, there's a reason why it still comes in at number two. But I just don't love it as much as I do the classic suit, which is in at number one. And this is the definitive, realistic Miles Morales costume adaptation, as far as I'm concerned. I've always really liked how the main bulk of this suit is a very matte black, but then things like the belt and certain accents are a very shiny black. It makes for a very nice layered look. But then it's just like, I can't argue with this design. I love the classic Miles Morales design, and this is as perfect of a realistic recreation of that as you could get. I love the texture and the rubbery look to the red accents on this suit. I, I love the fingerless glove look, which is again missing on the new version. Uh, I just, I think this is perfect. This is my go-to for Miles in this game. As soon as I got started up, I switched right back to this one. Uh, and, and again, I don't hate the upgraded suit, but I just like this one that much more. A and the differences are really pretty negligible. If this hadn't been available, I don't think I would have been really mad about it. Because again, yeah, the difference, negligible. But this to me is the superior version of this design. Alright, the ranking's over. The video is over. 
What do you guys think? What's your ranking of Miles' suits in Marvel Spider-Man 2? Comment below, discuss, and as always, if you enjoyed this video and you want to support more like it, be sure to hit subscribe, hit the like button, and in the description below is the link to my Patreon, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can get your name in the credits of these videos, as well as getting updates about my upcoming fan film, Spider-Man Genesis. A special shout-out goes to the patrons in the $10 tier, who are... Vlad Goku, Dare Denny, Kale Bennett, That Jordo, Ken K of Warheads, Super Hyper Mecha SP Mark II. Can you believe it, guys? Spider Man 2 still just a week away. When am I gonna get my 19 inches of venom? Well played, Adzinko. And then in the $5 tier, we have KLX, Richard Rogers, SSS06, Dazzle Fizzle, and Vera Wild. Thank you so much to you folks for your generosity, and to those of you at home, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.